Howdy guys, in today's video we're going to be looking at your allowance settings for the two parts and that will be for router cam. But before that let's have a quick intro first. So today's video can be found on softwaretraining.co.za. We make short and easy to watch problem solving videos and we also have daily updates. Otherwise, back in the program here. Now, when it comes to the actual um, allowance for the router cam, we've covered it before just briefly with other features. So today, we're just going to be looking at the actual feature itself. So if I just remove these extra shapes, now the allowance is going to allow you to uh, basically adjust your cut line if it's on the inside or the outside. So let's really should um, demo that so I'm gonna grab the shape um, so I'm gonna make a contour milling or yeah let's go contour milling just for now then I'm gonna put on show tool um, a diameter so that we can actually more clearly see what's gonna be cut now this the allowance is only gonna work when we're actually using um, uh, tool center other than center so left inside or right inside and the allowance is under this tab here at the bottom the moment we can see it's zero mil so if it's on center and I had to adjust this so let's say make it 10 mil as you can see nothing changes but now uh, let us set this back to zero then we go to inside so now obviously it's going to cut in the inside of the shape now let's put about three mil now you can see three mil it has taken it to the inside so you can now adjust with this I'm not sure if uh, point decimals works it almost looks like it does yeah so then um so you can now, uh, yeah, let's set the allowance to the inside and obviously you can go to the outside as well. So then we can adjust that accordingly. It is pretty a uh, handy feature to have so you can fine tune it. And also keep in mind if it is on left and right, that'll be more for a single um, path. So let's see if it's just a straight line and it'll do it on the left or the right of it. So, uh, but if you want to make a cutout of the inside of something and leave a bit of a uh, breather or a safe room, you can always do that. Now, this will obviously also depend on the size tool that you're using. But um, yeah, with a one mil, yeah, you can see a nice what it does with the allowance. Otherwise, that is it on the allowance. Just a quick recap again. So, it basically allows you to um, adjust the threshold of the cut on the inside or the outside so on the inside i'll bring it more towards the inside the higher number goes and the outside the more to the outside otherwise if we head gear to software training.co.za you guys will notice we've got a variety of different softwares to do cover and you can also isolate your search here on the top right if you do not however find the training videos you're looking for just a big idea request the training video fill in the mini form and then we'll do our best to try and make that for you but otherwise, thanks guys for watching and cheers.